Hello friends, welcome back to Industrial Learning and today in this session basically I am going to discuss about the elements of press tools. So here basically we are going to see the all parts, all elements of press tool in 3D that is basically through Annex. So we have considered a simple blanking tool uh, so that you can have the better understanding of all parts one by one. So let's go ahead and obviously don't forget to hit like button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel for future upcoming videos so you can see the image attached here and other than that you can see the names also so all these name indicates uh, the parts of the press tool so let us start uh, uh, from this image itself so the basic and main part of the press tool is nothing but punch and die that is the functional part of a press tool other than that we have a lot of plates for supporting that for holding that so uh, I'm, I'm going to take you to the annex window and I will show you there you can rather get a better understanding in that case so now you can see so the very first I will introduce you about the punch and uh, die plate if you are a beginner one and otherwise uh, you know about this and all then the next session onwards it will be beneficial for you so the first uh, uh, thing that is the punch so right now i'm going to hide all things and i'm going to highlight only two things the first one that is punch uh, let yeah so this is the punch means suppose we have to cut a blank shape like this so for that we have to make a profile or make a cavity so that cavity is termed as die plate you can see here and uh, upside we have to make a punch so this is a punch so within this we have to place a seat and that seat will get cut so other than that like we have to provide some sort of clearance we have to provide land angular clearance all that we have to uh, discuss so we are going to discuss all that things in later sessions and all so right now let us discuss about the main function of die plate and punch so other than that let me show you the component so this is the component this round one this round one you can see a component let me hide the die plate as well as let me hide the punch so now you can see this is the blank so to make the blank this same size of cavity we are going to make in the plate so that plate is termed as die plate so for following this blank we have made the reliefs you can see that and other than that we have a punch right so that punch will pierce or that punch will cut the blank from a sheet or strip simply we can say so this is the strip and from here you can see this it's getting cut out like uh, from a specific sheet and after then the blank is getting forward or the piercing suppose it is a compound tool and piercing will also be happen so in that case piercing will fall and component will be collected from here so that things and all we are going to discuss later on so this is about punch and die so these two elements now you got to know so let me take you to the ppt window and uh, there let me highlight what things we have discussed so this is the punch we have discussed and die plate these two elements uh, is clear to you other than that now let's go to the other plate that one suppose we are using punch then we should hold the punch right so for that we are using punch holder so now let us uh, discuss about the punch holder so you can see here this punch is getting supported or holded by a plate so that plate is termed as punch holder and to support the uh, like from this back sides we are using one more plate that is termed as punch back so other than that finally we will have a top plate so this top plate and bottom plate will be the base uh, and uh, die to simply it is called means for complete structural uh, portion this is basically so for that uh, let me show you uh, the bottom portions also so for that let us discuss about the die plate so this is the die back plate so to just supporting the die plate 
then we will have a bottom plate now you can see this top plate and bottom plate these two plates are just to support this entire uh, portions and then uh, like this top half means the portions like top plate uh, this punch back punch holding punch this is attached in single one so this is uh, uh, this have a tendency to move upward side and at the same time like bottom half that is die die back bottom this and all are fixed so if i hide the top portions then you can see this bottom portions are fixed so further if i show you the rest of the portions then there is one more plate that is sand plate in later on session i will discuss what is the sand plate why we use in, in detail in depth so other than that we have a spacer block this is for basically uh, used for clamping or maintaining the shut height or uh, to standardize the tools as well as suppose your plank is getting fall here so that you easily you can collect it if your press don't have the cutouts to fall it directly then in that case you can collect it from here so other than that we have a stopper pin so what is the use for stopper pin so this is basically to maintain the pitch this one so that at this at every uh, cutouts it will stop here and again the uh, here it will made again whatever the pitch we have maintained with somewhat this distance bridge and also these things and all we are going to discuss later on in detail then we have a strip uh, guide like to guiding this uh, strip to guiding this strip we are using strip guide fine then we have a spacer uh, this one is special why this is so to this is to maintain the shut height so that also i'm going to discuss in later on session so now you can see uh, in this brown color that is guide pillar and guide bus so this one is for basically the support uh, for proper guiding top half and bottom half at both parts are moving separately so both can align with each other for that purpose we are using this plates so other than that we have a stripper plate so stripper plate used to keep the strip flat for that we are using for that we are using some spring mechanism you can see from here like this spring pushes it and comes uh, like when uh, these portions come down the stripper come down that time uh, and upper portions also keep on moving so spring get compressed when the so at the time of retraction means when this uh, top half go, used to go back at the time this spring again relax and stripper come back and it's it will eject the strip from the punch for that this purpose this thing you know so last one that is guide pillar and guide bus and this is why because of guiding mechanism as already discussed so these things and all are the uh, elements of press tool so you can see we have discussed about punch holder punch back top plate shank plate stripper plate die base die back plate bottom plate spacer plate guide pillar and bus and dead stop spacers so what is this things and all why we use so these things and all definitely we are going to discuss in coming session in detail so right now just an overview i have given you so that while calculations and all you should have a little idea about what plates we are talking and how we are making calculations but when we are going to design this before that we are going to make the complete structural part we will discuss one by one everything and finally you will understand not only design you will understand the complete concept like uh, uh, while tryouts if you are facing any issues then you can solve that without any confusion so that's all in this about uh, elements of press tool let's move ahead